Hello friends, today's topic is traffic forecasting. Forecasting is a technique that uses historical data as inputs to make informed estimates that are predictive in determining the direction of future trends. So it is like this that if you know the past trend, you can estimate the future. If you extend this definition to traffic forecasting, it is the study and estimation of traffic volume and the number of vehicles or people that will use a specific type of transportation facility in the future. And this forecasting the future traffic is very necessary to provide the best level of service in long term. It is required in several applications to know areas, roads or intersections needing immediate action and also to establish priorities, to conduct road crash analysis, to justify projects of road widening, to estimate effectiveness and efficiency of traffic management measures, to provide basic data for traffic and transportation planning studies, to for geometric and structural design of roads, to estimate highway user revenues in designing of traffic signals, to justify regulatory and operational measures and also to establish trends of traffic volumes and different factors which govern the traffic growth in a area or in the region are mainly two economic regions and demographic regions economic regions include gross national product gnp or gdp per capita income of the people vehicle ownership agricultural output or industrial output whereas demographic factors are population and rural and urban mix of population in the area there are three uh, approaches of forecasting the traffic number one based on past trends and extrapolation number two based on econometric models and number three is multiple linear or non-linear regression analysis. We will discuss all these three approaches of forecasting in this session. Now based on past trends, past trends are valuable guide in determining the future trend and they can be established from a variety of traffic growth indicators like traffic flow from census, vehicle registration or maybe fuel sales. Now, the formula expressing the compound rate of growth of traffic is like this that if you know the traffic flow in base year P0 then you can find out the traffic volume in nth year by knowing the growth rate of the traffic annual growth rate of traffic is small r and if you take log of both sides that this equation can be written like this log of pn is equal to log of p0 plus n into log of 1 plus r. Now since p0 is known, so this becomes a constant and therefore this equation can be rewritten as y is equal to a0 plus a1 into n. Now y is log pn here, a0 is log p0 and a1 is a coefficient which is log of 1 plus r. Now for example, the 10 year data on traffic flow at a census point is given here in this table. Calculate the annual rate of growth. So if you take let us say from year 2011 to 2020, the traffic flow at PCU per day are given in this table. So if you redraw this table, that year is taken in N, 2011 is taken as the base year and therefore this becomes 0 and 2012 becomes n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on and these are the traffic values in PCU per day. You take log of this traffic that becomes y log of p and then when you establish a relationship between y and n then you can draw a regression line here like this and the equation of this line will be on, a, on x axis you have the year 0 to 9 and on y axis you have log of p 
that is log of traffic and this is the equation of this line y is equal to 0 0.0963 plus 8.7368 now if you take anti log of this that means e to the power 8.7368 that becomes a1 so this becomes 6228 so and this is the value of r 0 0.096 so 1 plus r will be 1.096 so equation becomes p is equal to p0 that is 6228 into 1 plus r that is 1.096 to the power r n and r here is 9.6 percent or you can say 0 0.096 so that is how the traffic uh, prediction so that is how traffic prediction is done based on past data. The second model is econometric model. Now if the past data is available on traffic for a number of years and the corresponding data on some economic, economic indicator such as GNP or GDP is also available, then this data can yield an econometric model of this nature. That log of p is equal to a0 plus a1 into log of gnp now here it can be gnp or it can be gdp also p is the traffic volume gnp is the gross national product and a0 is a constant and a1 is regression coefficient now th this value a1 this is known as the elasticity coefficient and this elasticity coefficient is the factor by which this GNP is to be multiplied to arrive at the growth rate of traffic. So I again take the same example that the time series data on traffic volume in millions and the GNP of India in billions of US dollar are given in this table. So you have the data from 2011 to 2020 again 10 years data determine the possible rate of growth of traffic during the year 2020 to 2025 assuming that GNP of the country will grow at the rate of 6%. So let us make a model between traffic and GNP. So you redraw this table again. So here you take a year and this is a traffic in millions. So you take log of this value 127.7 ln of this value is 4.849 and similarly you know the GNP value for each year you take log of GNP also. Now establish a correlation between log of P and log of GNP. So this correlation will be like this that log of P is minus 6.699 plus 1.556 log of GNP. So this is the elasticity coefficient. Now here it shows that the GNP should be multiplied by 1.556 to get the traffic growth rate. So traffic growth rate in 2020 to 2025 will be this value multiplied by growth rate of GNP. So if GNP is growing at a rate of 6% during these 5 years then traffic will grow at the rate of 9.334%. So that is how traffic growth rate is established by econometric model. The third approach is multiple linear regression analysis or you, this is also a part of econometric analysis. Now here the traffic growth is seen as being dependent on certain economic and demographic indicators and these indicators can be at a state level or it can be at regional level. At a state level it can be population households, employment, vehicle registration, GDP of the state, per capita income, oil prices or oil consumption. Similarly, at the regional level, it can be population, it can be household, it can be employment, it can be vehicle registration and it can be per capita income also. In fact, in fact, same parameters which are listed here can be here also, but these parameters in that case will be at regional level. Whereas if you are predicting at a state level, it will be the parameters will be taken at a state level. Now this will be the equation that log of t 
is equal to a0 plus a1 into log x1 plus a2 into log x2 plus a3 into log x1 plus and so on. Now here t is total vehicular population and x1, x2, x3 are the econometric parameters as I explained earlier and a0 is a constant and a1, a2, a3 they are called regression coefficients. So these coefficients will indicate the elastic, elasticity of each of these parameters. That means how the total vehicle population will increase with respect to these parameters that will be dictated by the value of a1, a2, a3 and so on. Now general practice which is, which is adopted in India is to collect 7 days traffic count twice a year on national highways and 1 to 3 days on other roads. And three techniques are generally followed for traffic projections past trend data. Now in this case records over the past 5 to 10 years are collected from NS division or respective PWD departments and this data is the base for observing the traffic growth of the present scenario and the same trend is used to predict the future demand as we have discussed in the first case. And this method is generally adopted at feasibility assessment stage. The second approach is vehicle registration. Now in this case data is obtained from motor transport statistics of India and based on this data it is possible to predict the growth rate of vehicle registration of each individual vehicle type through regression analysis. So here also the past data which are available on registration of vehicles is used to predict the future number of vehicles. Now this method is also adopted at feasibility assessment stage. And the third approach is elasticity of transport demand. Now here the projected future traffic incorporates analysis of some of the key socio-economic characteristics and rate of change expected during the study period in the project influence area. And this technique is generally used at detailed project preparation stage while preparing DPR of the project. So these are different methods of traffic projections or traffic forecasting. Thank you very much friends for watching this video.